Okay. Hey, dude. This is the lower part, of, uh, lower extremities part. Okay. All right. I am now inspecting the lower extremities for colors and lesions. I'm going to palpate the skin for temperature and texture. I'm going to palpate the popliteal pulse for rhythm and equality. I'm going to palpate the um, posterior tibial for rhythm and equality. I'm going to palpate the dorsalis petty for rhythm and equality. Okay. I am now inspecting the hips for swelling and deformity. I'm going to palpate the hips for swelling and tenderness. <coughs> I'm going to test the range of motion of the hips for pain, crepitation, and learn to move it. So I want you to do exactly what I say, okay? So I want you to straighten out both of your legs. I want both of your feet pointing upward to the sky. Now I want you to lift up your whole leg upwards. This is for flexion of the hips. And then put downwards for extension of the hips. Same thing for this leg. Straight up, point this way, this flexion of the hips, and point downwards. It's extension of the hips. Now I want you to spread your legs. So put this leg outwards for um, abduction of the, of the hips. And then put it inward for adduction of the hips. Um, also when you're doing adduction of the, hip, of the hips, make sure that the foot crosses over the other foot. Like that. Alright? And same thing for this leg. So. Spread your leg outward for abduction of the hips, and then put it inward, crossing over your foot, is adduction of the hips. Now we're going to test the, um, we're going to do the external rotation of the hips, so please bend your knee, and then we're going to put in, move your knee inward for um, internal rotation of the hips. We're going to do it outwards for external rotation of the hips. And same thing for this side. Bend it, okay, move it inward for internal rotation of the hips, move it outward for external rotation of the hips. Okay. Now we're going to test the muscle strength of the hips against resistance. So, for this part, I would put one hand in the upper part of this leg, and I'll put the other hand right here. Not at the ankle, it'll be right here, okay? So, um, Straighten out your leg again. Put your point your foot upward to the sky. Okay. Now raise your whole leg up. This flexion is distance of the hips. And same thing with this one. Straighten your legs up. Straight feet. Raise it up for flexion is distance of the hips. Okay. Now I'm going to inspect the knees for alignment and contour. Now I'm going to palpate the knees for swelling and tenderness. I am now going to test the range of motion of the knees for pain, crepitation, and limited movement. So I want you to bend your knee, this section of the knee, and then straighten out your leg for extension of the knee. Same thing with this. Bend your knee for um, flexion of the knees. And you strain out your legs for extension of the knee. Now we're going to um, test the muscle strength of resistance against, um, for your knees. So um, I want you to bend your knee. You'll have one hand right here below the kneecap. And then you'll have this other hand um, right here, like where the ankle is. So now I want you to move your foot towards your butt. This is a fraction of distance of the knee. And then we'll put the other hand right here, 
and I want you to move your foot towards the foot of the bed. This is extension assistance for the knee. So same thing with, with the other leg. So bend your knee please. Okay. Hand right here below the kneecap. The other hand will be right at the ankle. Alright. So move your foot towards your butt. Flexion assistance on the knee. Move your foot towards the head of the bed. Or right side. Put my hand right here. Now you can move your foot towards the head of the bed. Extension assistance of the knee. Okay. Now I'm going to inspect the ankles and the foot for um, swelling and deformity. That also includes the toes. I'm, I'm going to palpate the ankles and feet for swelling and tenderness. I'm going to palpate the toes for a capillary refill. I'm going to test the range of motion of your ankle for pain crepitation and limited movement. So I want you to point your toes towards the head of the bed. That's plantar flexion. And I want, to put, I want your um, toes to be pointing towards the sky. That's dorsiflexion. Now, we're going to do inversion and eversion of your feet. So when I say inversion, I want you to turn the soles of your foot inward. And then when I say eversion, I want you to turn the soles of your foot outward. Okay? So, um, inversion. Your feet are going inward. And then E version is the soldier feet going outward. Okay. Very hard. Yeah, I know. It's pretty hard. Now we're going to um, test the muscle strength of your ankles. So you'll have one foot right here. One foot? Sorry. You'll, you'll have one hand right here. And then you have the other hand at the foot. Okay? So, I want you to straighten out your foot like this. And now I want you to bend your foot towards the sky. This is dorsiflexion assistance. And then I'm going to put my hand below the foot. And I want you to point towards the bed for plantar flexion assistance. Okay? Same thing with the side. Hand right here. Hand right on top of the foot. Straighten out the foot. Okay. Plant, um, move your foot towards the sky for um, dorsiflexion assistance. And then right here, put, point your toes towards the bed This plantar flexion assistance. Okay. Do you have anything? Mm, nope. Hmm? Can't do the, the, the hammer oh. test though. Yeah, and also, I, I don't have the hammer, but um, you know the plantar reflex you would have to um, put the pointy part of the hammer and you have to go from um, the inner part of the sole of the foot from the inner out, inner, and then you go straight towards the outer part going upwards and then you go back to the inner part towards it, to the um, big toe. That's a plantar flexion. And then after that you would do the deep tendon reflex. That's the um, many hit below the kneecap and um that'll be all for the upper extremities. Lower. Lower extremities. Sorry. <laughs>